Hello! This video will be covering delimited parser in Centerprise as found under the text processor section of the toolbox. You would use the delimited parser function when you have a situation where records contain multiple pieces of information that you would like to divide up. So in this example that I'm going to be showing you, I'm just going to go ahead and preview the data I have here. And as you can see here in this field, the customer info field, there is records that contain multiple information. So here it is just simple customer data in that includes uh, the customer name, the company, and the email. So what I want to do is I want to use the limited parser to parse or divide up this information and create new fields called name, company, and email. So let me just go ahead and start off by dragging the limited parser onto the data flow. And as you see here, there's text and output. So what you need to do here is you need to map the field that you would like to parse to text. So the field that I want to parse information is customer info. So let me go ahead and map that onto text. And now I can right click and edit the properties. So the first page that comes up is um, a few different options that you can choose from. The first is the parse data pattern. So here within the parse data pattern, there's three options, single record, multiple record, and field arrays. Now in this example, this is a single record scenario. Um, I will be showing you multiple record and field arrays a little later in this video, but just briefly, um, a multiple record situation would be if you have a um, field that contains records, say instead of just having one customer, like here, um, there's multiple, like maybe four or five different customer information within the one record. So that would be multiple record. And field arrays would be a situation um, if you had one record that contained multiple field information. So again, I, I will be showing you that a little later in the video. So for now, I'm just going to select single record. So the next option to choose from is field delimiter. So here you can choose from different options. I'm going to go ahead and keep it on comma because the field delimiter is just what is separating the information that you want to parse. So here, um, comma is separating this information. So the next option is text qualifier. Now it doesn't really apply in this situation or this example because there is no text qualifier um, in my sample data, but that the typical delimited file standard is quotations. Usually it would be quotations um, between the uh, field delimiter, but again, it's not in this situation. So you can, I'm just going going to go ahead and just leave as is because it does not matter. So let me go ahead and hit next. And here is an important step. This is where I'm going to manually insert the new fields that I would like. So like I stated before, I would like it to be name, company, and email. So let me go ahead and type those three in. Company and, oops, name, company, and email. So go ahead and hit OK. And if you expand output, you can now see that the new fields are now under output. So I'm just going to go ahead and preview the output and show you that our delimited parser did work because now all of the information is now separated in different fields but I'm just going to go ahead and select a transformation so you can view it a little bit clearer. I'm going to choose the pass-through transformation, but of course you can choose whatever transformation is relevant to your project. So let me go ahead and just drag the output onto the pass-through and preview output. And here now you can see all of our information is separated and um, now there's our new fields. So that is the single record example. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to show you the multiple record example. So let me start off by showing you my sample data. Similar to the single record data, but I went ahead and added 
some things. I added uh, customer information within the record. So instead of there just being one customer information, now there is two in a few of these records. So hence the multiple record title. So now there's multiple um, customer information within the one record. So an important, very important part to note is that the customer information within the one record is separated by a slash. So that's going to be important for when I am um, editing the properties within the delimited parser. So let me go ahead and just drag on delimited parser onto the data flow and do the same thing, map customer info to text and right click properties. So here, parse data pattern, I'm going to choose multiple record and you'll see that we have a new option that popped up, um, the record delimiter. So here is where you're going to put that slash because that is what is separating the information within the one record. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that slash in there. There's also different options that you can choose from here, but um, you just would insert whatever applies to your information that you have. And then of course I'm going to keep the field limiter um, onto comma because that is what's separating the information within the record. And then let me go, go to next. So here we can manually insert our new fields. I'm going to do the same thing. Name, company, and email. And I'm going to select OK. And again, it's now in our output, the new fields. Let me preview output. And here you can see that we now have the parse data. And it did work. Now there's two, the, the records that contain two. It's now separated into their own record. And again, let me just give you a clearer view with the pass-through transformation. Let me map output and preview data. See, so now you can see our new records and our new fields. We have we now have 13 records and um, before let me just preview the data that we started with and we started with nine records. So with this um, delimited parser, we now have our 13 records with the parsed information. So that is multiple record. So lastly, I'm going to show you the field array example. So here I have, let me go ahead and show you my sample data for the field array. So here I have the customer info field where there is different fields within the one record. So he here you can see that the, these numbers are the customer ID, these names are the customer name, and um, these last part is the customer title. So now I'm going, oh, but let me first make note that the new fields are separated by a semicolon. As you can see here, um, this is important again uh, for the delimited parser options because that's something that you're going to have to select is what the fields are separated by. So let me go ahead and start off by dragging delimited parser onto the data flow again and mapping customer info to text and let me go to properties so I can edit the properties. So I'm going to select field array and like I said before the new um, option that pops up is array separator and this is where you're going to put that semicolon that I was talking about because that is what is separating the fields. So I'm going to type in the semicolon and again going to leave field value delimiter as comma because that is what's separating the information. So I'm going to hit next and again let me manually insert my new fields. It's a little bit different this time. It's going to be customer ID, name, and title. So go ahead and hit OK. Again, it's going to be within the output when you expand that output. And I'm just going to go ahead and preview the output and show you that it indeed worked. Now all of our fields are able to view. And again, I'm going to go ahead and 
drag the, that pass through transformation so you can get a clear view. Preview output. And now all of our information is here. If you want to go ahead and, I ha also had a company field, so you can just go ahead and drag that to the new member in the limited parser and then drag it onto your transformation. And when you preview output, it is now a part of the view. So that is field arrays. So those are the basics when using the delimited parser function within Centerprise. Thank you for watching the video.